Tim here, and I've got a new product. This is a product I'm hoping will solve a couple of my problems or issues. Uh, it's called the Smart GPS Slope Meter X95. It says speed unit, speed alarm, speed adjust, clock adjust, color setting uh, from a company called Auto Tool or Auto Tool. Um, little box here. Let's see what's inside. Um, while I'm opening it, this up, I'll opening this up. I will tell you why I ordered this. Um, one thing is when I go camping, I'm always trying to figure out the angle and the tilt of of my vehicle. Um, when I'm trying to get a good camping spot, I want to get as level as possible, and uh, you know, so I sometimes have to use leveling blocks. But it's not always easy to tell if the, uh, the ground is level where you're parking. So this, which they call slope meter, um, hopefully will help me and uh, surprise this little, uh, just a little piece of tape type material is so hard to open. But uh, there we go. I think I got it. Oh. Kind of rip the box instead. Anyway, um, so this has, and I'm not sure what how it determines your your pitch and yaw or pitch and angle or you know the slope and all that, but it'll tell tell you when you are not level. Um, it says it's made for four wheel drives. You know when you're off road. Um, It'll tell you what degree or what angle you're at. Maybe and it, it, apparently it has an alarm built into it if you go over a certain angle so that you don't roll over. Uh, inside the box there are a couple cards um, with some uh, with a website address, some sort of little thing that says it's past rigorous inspection. It's got a little stamp on it, um, on this card. This one says, sorry for the inconvenience if there's anything you're not con content with. Um, after sale service card, and it's got more contact information for any questions. So that's kind of nice. Uh, you've got your little manual, user manual. Um, tells you how to use it. And then you've got two boxes. Um, first one here, I believe, probably has the adapter or for plugging it in, the power cords and everything. So you've got a, a cord with a uh, USB connector that you can hardwire this in. And then you've got a cigarette type lighter adapter um, that you can plug in. And then on the end of it, it's got USB ports, uh, 5 volt, 2.4 amp, 5 volt, 1 amp. So you've got two different USBs. Uh, car charger, it says on here on it. Looks pretty decent quality, uh, kind of a flexible rubber type cable so in the next box is the actual device and inside this box with it so let's just see there's something stuck in here it might just be a tracking type well uh, looks like adhesive strips, two little uh, red, thin adhesive type, like guessing to mount it to the dash. And the actual product. So, this is the product. It's kind of a shape like a, a, any kind of instrument usually in a vehicle, you know, round. It's got these ridges on 
which don't seem to really do anything just for aesthetics. Uh, you plug in for power in the back. And then you've got a power or a button on the front. And this I'm guessing we'll use to uh, switch between screens. So as I said before, this will help me as far as finding the level or the angle of the vehicle. Uh, good for off-roading, but also when I'm camping and just trying to get this vehicle as level as possible, I'll use it for that. Uh, another reason I purchased this is because it has a speedometer, a digital speedometer. Um, and it uses GPS to determine your speed. With this vehicle that I've got here, this Ford, it's an 85 Ford F-350. The dash is pretty old. The instruments are really old. Um, and when I'm driving, I kind of, the speed that the speedometer shows is usually five miles off. So I always have to be figuring out, okay, my actual speed, you know, if it shows 55 on the speedometer, I'm doing 50 miles an hour. Um, so I, this will help me with the speed. Another reason is at night, uh, the dash, and it's pretty common with these old Fords, just not very bright. You can't really see all the, the instruments very well, um, especially the speedometer. Probably needs a new bulb, uh, which I'd have to figure out how to replace it in behind. But it's just, you know, it's not very bright. And with my eyes at night, you know, I'm kind of squinting, trying to get, see that, that speedometer and make sure I'm, you know, not speeding. Um, so this will be great for the speed. And I uh, believe this also gives you your GPS location. And I'm not sure what else, but I'll have to check once I get it set up. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to read the manual real quick, set it up, and then show you what, what how it works. So I have not uh, used the adhesive tape yet to fasten the, uh, the gauge or the instrument to the dash. But this is where it looks like I will be mounting it, kind of right in the middle of the dash. Um, it's out of the field of view. It's off to the side where I can see it pretty easily. And uh, it, the dash is fairly flat there. Uh, it is at a little bit of an angle. But according to the, uh, the manual, you can calibrate it. So if I find myself on a really flat spot, I'm not sure if this road, how flat it is. It's probably at an angle. Uh, but if I find a really good flat and level spot, then I'll calibrate it. Um, right now, let me see if we can... It shows uh, plus 2 degrees and minus 6 degrees. Um, if you tilt it, you can see that it'll... tilt the, the little vehicle. If it goes too far, you, it'll, a little alarm will go off. Let's see. Uh, supposedly telling you, I guess, that, hey, you're about to roll over. Um, and I'm trying to do this where you can see it. Let me uh, tilt this a little bit into the light here. So according to the manual, um, you can calibrate it. I'm going to read off some of this stuff. Uh, it says, uh, it does show you this, the, 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 the scales, they call it on the left, uh, positive and negative. Um, it gives you longitude and latitude satellite interface. So this button down here is what you use to switch between everything. Let me go to the next screen. Um, and I'm going to move it actually. See if I can get it into better better spot. Here we go. Uh, this screen says speed clock, and it looks like it's on the 24-hour 1900, even though that's incorrect for where we are. Altitude, which looks pretty correct. Direction 360. I'm not sure what they how that uh, what they mean. 10 satellites, 11 satellites, and it shows you a little image of the Earth with the satellites. 
and then your longitude and latitude down below. That's one screen. Just kind of some information. And then this is the screen with the speedometer and your altitude and your direction and time down below. This is the one I'll probably use the most because the speedometer is the largest, um, you can see how big it is, uh, largest image on the screen. It's what I need to see. Next screen gives you your time, your date, and the day, as well as how many satellites you have. Uh, this screen also gives you the time, your speed, and it says past time, which I believe might mean, you know, how much you've traveled, how much time you've been driving or it's been on. Distance, which again is probably a, a odometer type setting, and then voltage, um, which I'm assuming again is for the battery voltage on the, the vehicle. Uh, and then back to this screen. Um, let's tilt it back this way so you can see how it levels it out. Um, and I'll use this mostly when off-road and when looking for a good spot to park for the night. Uh, I want something level. So you hold, you long click it to, to uh, change, go into the settings mode and to change everything, which I'll be doing pretty soon. Um, and that's pretty much a good summary of what, what this little device does. I believe I mentioned it, um, I'm not sure if I did now, but I paid $65 on Amazon, and I'll put a link down below, and it's a pretty good deal for such an inexpensive device. I've looked at others, um, and there are others that are out there that are just, just as good, you know, and offer just as much, um, but this one, you know, it's pretty good for the price and includes a lot of information. Um, you know, and that longitude and latitude is great if you're out somewhere and you're talking, you need to, you know, tell somebody where you are and they, so that they can come find you or come to your location. So that's uh, the, uh, let me, uh, Put it right here and again that's from a company called auto tool smart gps slope meter